Well, good morning, Club 17, and welcome to our first segment of Rotarian Spotlight. And since we're unable to meet uh, due to the health crisis, I thought it would be fun for us to get together and interview a series of Rotarians to really get to know them better. And, and today I wanted to uh, start this off by interviewing President-elect Brett Labar. Um, and you'll be seeing a lot of him obviously starting July 1st, and I uh, thought it'd be good to start the series off with him. So uh, thanks for being with us today, Brett. Hey, welcome. Um, you know, Brett and I have uh, known each other for, I don't know, probably the last five to six years. We've served on the board together, and, and um, I think um, he's such a thoughtful, experienced leader, um, and I think everyone's really going to love his uh, leadership style. So, so, Brett, tell me a little bit about yourself, um, maybe some of your job history, um, perhaps your family, maybe even your favorite food, some of the thoughts uh, on your interests or uh, hobbies. Sure, and glad to. So I've been married 41 years to Marilyn, and Marilyn and I met in Atlanta, where I was a graduate student, and she was working with Vista in the inner city. And about 30 years ago, we moved to the Cincinnati area for job reasons. Uh, we live in Anderson Township and have raised two sons here. Our older son, David, is in the Navy, serving in Italy. He's married with three children. And our younger son, Matt, is a firefighter in the Cincinnati area. And I really had a fun and challenging career in human resources and had the opportunity to work with several great companies, and I retired from IBM about nine years ago as an executive. And what about and your And I guess food? you want to know something about food and hobbies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So food, uh, whether it's the healthiest or not, I won't say, but I love pot roast. And it's one of my favorites. And for hobbies, uh, really, I, I like to walk. I like to travel. My wife and I both like to travel and do some reading and quite honestly a fair amount of community service activities rotary and some others that's amazing how about what you're doing right now to kind of keep yourself busy during the health crisis well uh, i've been getting regular exercise and my wife and i have spent more time together which has been great uh, we've actually gone for long walks in the neighborhood with our black lab and I think our black lab at this point is in really good shape. So we're all getting some good exercise. And one of the things that's been nice about, even though this is a very difficult time we're all going through is we actually have seen a lot of neighbors and been in touch with a lot of people. The other thing uh, I've been doing is making sure I stay in touch with other friends and family by phone or FaceTime and uh, doing some reading, just finishing a really good book on the importance of an organization having a clear sense of its own purpose. I think you just heard why he's gonna be such a good credit if he's reading books like that. So awesome, Brett. You, I believe, joined Rotary in 2013. So um, tell me a little bit about some of the reasons you joined and maybe some of the reasons you remain a member. Well, I always have been involved, or at least for many years, in different types of community service activities. And a good friend invited me to a rotary breakfast and just to kind of check it out. And I was very impressed with the people I met, very impressed with the range of activities and services that Rotary is providing in the community. So that, that was the, the thing that really got my interest. And one of the things that I, you know, as I think about my life, I've been blessed with so many great opportunities. And I really had been and have been looking for ways to give back to the community. So that, I'd say that was the biggest driving thing. But the, the interesting thing about it is, even though I joined Rotary primarily to be of service, I've made, met so many people in Rotary and made so many good friends in the process. That's been the icing on the cake. Absolutely. What are maybe some of your fondest memories of Rotary so far? Well, I, I'd say that one of the good things is I've had an opportunity, like we all have, to be involved in a lot of different projects and activities and social events. But I think one of the, the most fun things for me was being asked to co-chair a committee to start up the four-way test speech contest for our club. And working with a great team of people and working with people at various high schools in the city, 
able to start that up. And, and one of the, the fun things about it is just working with the high school students and seeing the level of talent and ability and passion they have and knowing that you're really working with and spending time with the next generation of leaders. Very good. And, you know, as we maneuver through these uncharted waters um, that we're living in today, what are some of your thoughts on how our club can handle this crisis, both um, externally and uh, internally as well? I think externally, living up to our motto of service above self. And that's, that's who we are as individuals, who we are as a club. And looking for ways to live that out, even in the midst of a crisis, an unexpected crisis like the one we're in. I think it was uh, great for the club to give money to St. Vincent de Paul Homelessness Prevention Fund. That was a wonderful way to be of service, helping those in the biggest need, the most dire need to keep their homes. And I think it takes creativity right now to know how we can serve because a lot of the things we're used to doing as Rotarians, we can't do right now in terms of hands-on service projects. So I think being creative, looking for ways to serve. I know that we as a club will be looking for other ways to serve. And the other thing I'd say is that each of us as Rotarians has a whole network of connections and we have our own creativity and initiative. And you can see that members of our club are taking their own initiative to find ways to be of service. And I think that's exactly the kind of thing that we should keep doing externally. Well, I think we just got a glimpse of why Brett's gonna be a great president this coming year. So Brett, thanks so much for spending time this morning to. Uh, to share some of your insights. And um, Rotarians, uh, until next time, please stay safe and healthy and uh, go out and make it a great day. We'll talk soon. Take care. Thank you.